How did I clean all that up with a sword? Chaos! Chaos! <laughs> eh? <laughs> bye bye! Can I help you? Alright, you listen here. Do anything to my brother, and I'll rip your eyes out, shove them so far down your throat, you could see your own- And it's pronounced ogre, not Ani! You have spoiled slime ball? God, you really are I'm stupid, in danger. are you? Do you guys remember that episode where I screwed up with Demon Etna and I forgot to hit record? What about the episode where, um, my capture card decided to say F you and decided to boost the audio to make it sound e rapey? Guess what happened again? Welcome back to season two of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode, we started off the DLC. But I will take an L on this one. This wasn't the capture card's fault. It was my fault. I was trying to teach a friend how to set up their capture card, and I forgot to remove something whenever doing a thing. But here's how the story went down. Finally, a festival! All my swears, how is this extremely hard? <gasps> friend! And I'll leave this next one unedited. Sorry for the boosted audio. <laughs> Take the, take the mask back! Take the mask back! You shouldn't come back! The mountain's dangerous at night! What about that? It's adorable! Look at that face! No, come back, you wholesome bean! So now we have this mask in our inventory and we need to show it to Gramps and he's all like, Oh my god, you got the only mask! Let me tell you a story. And here we are. I am so sorry that this happened again. What's going on as a team shout out? It's your host, Fairy Galaxy Cat, Mr. Galaxy, back here again with another video, and welcome back to Season 2 of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC Episode 2. I'm still trying to structure how to do the DLC intros. Most likely, I'll just do what I normally do with my intros. Last episode, we started this grand adventure by joining a program that allows us to see the land of Katakami. As we explore the land, we'll slowly learn about the town. And we're about to learn the more of the town with this grandpa's story over here. So, yeah. Once again, I would like to apologize for me skipping, like, a big chunk of the DLC just now. I don't want to present you guys with a YouTube video that has the gameplay boosted to hell and back. I just want to have a gameplay video where we can make memes, make jokes, uh, make memories, and then we can- Shut up! So let's just ignore- what just happened and just get right back into the DLC. So if you guys enjoyed what you see, let me know in the comments down below, but hit that like button to another dimension. Thanks guys, enjoy the video. After all the story time. Okay, fine. The story has been passed down our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it from his father. And he learned it off at that point! It is a story of truth. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of this to others. Uh, okay. But that sounds kind of stupid, don't you think? If it's a true story, we should tell- You must never speak of this to others! Now then, story time. Long, long time ago, a man and an Oni came to Katakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the Oni who looked so different from them. And so, they refused to let travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the Oni were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. They were just happy to have each other, so they settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two, the village mosque maker. 
He made shovel mash for the man in the Oni. A mash were brilliant works adorned with gems that the man brought from somewhere far away. Now wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the Oni were overjoyed. They thanked the mash maker for his kindness. Wearing the mash, the man and the Oni started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pairs soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, each to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite shiny masks attract more than just innocent. Curiosity. A greedy group of Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Katakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave which the man and the Oni lived and tried to make off with a mask which they carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. Their Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, the Oni returned to the cave. It found its beloved home in ruin. And all that was left were sides of a struggle and a teal mask. He only donned the mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for his friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, glorying over their stolen masks and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. And they saw the raging Oni and felt great fear. Villagers saw the three Pokemon have tried falling, protecting the village from the Oni. To honor the sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three of Dawn and intended to care of them. Wounded and weak, the Oni returned to its cave, alone with great sharpness. Well, so, the Loyal Three of Dawn are evil! Ogapon didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three of Dawn, uh, they're the worst! The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth! It's a lie! They've gotta hear about this! Calm yourself, Carmen! I told you to keep it to yourself, you crazy bitch. But Grandpa! The Veld just believed their own version of the story. They reveal the Loyal Three Dawn. So how will they react being told that they got all wrong? They probably get angry, right? Exactly. Back when it was all first occurred, the mash maker, let's say, to our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. He fucking died. Oh my swells. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mash maker chose to protect us, the descendants, by keeping his mouth shut. After he was turned to a corpse, of course. So he kept the truth hidden and only told us in the family, so yeah. Don't tell the villagers or you'll fucking die. That's a bit overboard, don't you think? You'll die! Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the Oni. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the drew on his forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix- Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You go ahead and fix it. Maybe you got chipped when we found on the stairs. In the meantime, let's go find Oroha. No we'll make her our Oni sister. What's an Oni sister? Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta watch Don Brothers. Yo, man, you wanna continue the tour thing before I gotta go do a thing? What were you two talking about? Nothing much, really. Just this and that. Memes, videos, let's plays, and all that stuff. You know, just the usual stuff. Just talk about my YouTube channel. Okay, we got one more sign to take a selfie at, so let's go. Alright, man, I'll see you there. <sighs> Why? Why 
Why'd you lie to me? Why do I get the feeling that I just made a powerful enemy today? Well, 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 it seems that Area Zero has leaked all the way over here. There's gotta be some lore reasons why it's over here. Like, I've never seen the terrestrialization get this bad outside of Area Zero. Also, say goodbye to frame rates. Oh my god, this water section sucks. I, oh god, my brain cells are decaying. Oh, never mind, it's good again. Oh, swells. Finally! Why is there a random sign out in the middle of nowhere? Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legend, you only used to be seen around here a lot. Hey, before she got aside, could- Yeah, let's battle, let's go. This time, I'll win! If you really think you'll win, hit me with your best shot. That thing has not evolved yet. Therefore, I sentence it to death. Polyrath, okay. In that case, Masquerade, get on out here. You know what to do. It's a classic for a reason. <sighs> Actually, I thought things through. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. I right, come back. It's time for Wally to take another W in this season. Come on, Wally. Let's go, Wally. Come on. Boom. One shot this thing. Sorry for it. You're just going to have to keep walking until the next game. Oh, he got Diplin? Isn't that that new Dragon-type Pokemon? Why, why does it have to be like this? Why? What are you talking about, man? Are you okay? Are you upset that I have a shiny and you don't? Because I heard it's pretty easy getting a shiny Diplin. No, I'm not going to be trying that. Don't ask me. Okay, maybe for a live stream, I might. Break it, spin it! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Maybe you should try next time, man. I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... Hey, are you okay? Let's take the damn photo. Story time. If you, you see, see a shadowy figure, figure approaching, approaching you outside, outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is a man or a monster, you will pass each other as fellow mask wearers. How fitting. It's raining. It's perfect timing, actually. If you should meet the shadow and you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day. And you will never, to never forget your mask again. But if it's the only, you will meet your end. As do all human whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit. And you shall never return to the village ever again. Jeez, it's kind of dark. I mean, not as dark as straight up confirming death is a thing in Pokemon Legends Odyssey, but still. My family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because of our ancestors came up with the idea. But I really don't like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the Oni seems sort of scary, everyone got afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But... I'm pretty sure the ogre has been lonely on its own, left alone all like that. Treated like some kind of outcast. <sighs> Sorry, man. Try keeping this hidden from you. But we had to be reviewed eventually. Wanna take the last photo? Yeah, let's just take the last photo. Hey, man, um, something's a bit off about you. You're kind of giving me that, uh, Evil vibe, you know what I mean? I gotta get struck with my Pokemon. I'm gonna go head home. Oh, okay. Bye. Ah, oh, that was certainly fun, but it's time for me to take a napper. The next day. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> that walk cycle. <laughs> Look at me, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be the star of this episode. I'm about to steal his channel. Get out of my face, NPC. Yo, Gramps, you got that mask fixed? I wanted to fix the Ogre Pond's mask, watch. I need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we're gonna need a crystal cluster for. So, the crystal area! Ah! I, I was just there like literally five minutes ago. Okay. Well, let's go over there and get the what we need and 100% fix the max. Morning, Grandpa. You better go somewhere to kill some time. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude coming from you. Why is Garnet to this boy? 
Oh no, I think he might know. Well, whether he knows or not, that doesn't change the fact that we still gotta fix that mask, so off to the pond we go. Could you not? Oh, it's the teacup! Get in the bar! Get in the bar! Get in the freaking bar! Come on! Finally. Mmm, soup. How is it possible that on my own when I wasn't looking for this thing, I found this thing easily? But now that I'm actively searching for it, it took me like 10 minutes to look for. There you are, Mr. Galaxy. Come get a look at this view. Yeah, I was here earlier. I know. It's it's weird that there's terrestrialization crystals over here. Let's just get the cluster and get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh no. What the an earthquake? What's happening? My Lodic? What the hell? Oh, my suppose it's smoking weed. I'm gonna play it safe, switch it to prototype, use leaf blade, and hopefully hit this thing in one move. Oh my swells, an NPC doing more damage than me? That's a first. Okay, well, I gotta take the spotlight back. Sorry, man. You tried your best and you almost succeeded, but my Pokemon's level 100. Oh, look, there's the cluster we're looking for. Now we can fix the mask. Crystal cluster. I could take this back to Paldea and research it more. Nah, I'm too lazy. Miss Blit, what, what the source? Where you come from? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. Oh, it's interesting, the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool water emits the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. So that's why the Mylark looked like it was on weed. It was on some hashtag hashtag crystal gang weed. Do you have a speech impediment? No, I'm just an idiot. Professionally trained? Professionally trained! Oi! Gramps! I got the crystal! Let's go restore this mask to maximum efficiency! I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran. He... He ran off with the mash. Uh-oh. Did you tell him about the org or something? I had... I, 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 I would never say such a thing. Not a thing! He found out, you idiot! He was listening to our conversation! GET THAT MOSH BACK RIGHT NOW OR YOU'RE GROUNDED! BOTH OF YOU! Have fun with that! I ain't gonna get grounded again! I'm way too old for that! Oi! Hey! Asshole! What the hell are you doing? Mr. Galaxy... KK, what in the world do you think you're doing? You too knew, didn't you? You knew that the Oni wasn't the real bad guys in the story. A loyal three dawn with the real bad guys. But the Oni is the last one that gets treated like an outcast. You. Of course you knew. And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast. You waited and, uh, and met the Oni. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Silence, fool! You're no difference from those villagers back then! You know how much I love the Oni! You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along! That's not what happened at all! Yeah, man, can we just calm down a bit here? Liar! 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 What got into you, Kiki? You acting real off today. Mr. Galaxy! Battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on. Battle me already. You sure, man? You're not really in the state. Do I look like I'm fine? I am fine! This is the face of a happy person. Jesus Christ, he's stumbling on his words. It still beats wrong with this man. Oh my swells, he got so angry the Yama evolved. Too bad it's still weak as hell. Gligo, that's a new Pokemon. That's gotta be uh, the Gliscor pre evolution, if I'm correct. Okay, Lupin, Green, no, you, your name's Masquerade. Just just come out and do the thing. No music this time. The jukebox broke. We're gonna have to fix it next time. It's still uh, the same effect, though, so. You're like a hero in a story. I mean, obviously, I'm the protagonist. I got plot armor on me, bitch. Choosing another water type, I see. Just because it's half flying doesn't mean I am not gonna lose this thing. Like so, it is dead. Are you seriously just sending me sacrifices? It's like you're trying to resurrect dead Pokemon or something. 71! Okay, this DLC is actually getting challenging. 
is what I would say if they didn't send me easy bait to murder. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this! Seriously? Diplin? Um... You know how this is gonna go, right? Okay. Not bad, actually. That's not the punchline I was going with, but hey. It's something. Well, I guess I gotta keep breaking your spirit. Is this what's making you edgy? I use spirit break on him so many times, he's starting to become edgy. What have I done? Oh, man. Wait, 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 man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me, give me the mask. Give, 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 give the mask to me. Give me. Give me. Give me. You don't know what kind of malice you can unleash? Thank you. Now, we should be fine. We should be all Gucci, since I don't think he spawned enough malice to revive beans of hatred. I think we're safe. We are a thousand percent safe. Oh, come on! Oh no! I oh, know! No! no. <laughs> we uh, that was a dynamax so uh oh oh no the loyal dawn three i mean the royal three dawn they have come back to kill us all what in the world <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Why do you have your own voices? <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, where are you guys going? Come back! Come back! Oh, oh no! <laughs> that's, that's, uh... That, that is not... Oh... We just screwed the village. Didn't we? Come on, Mr. Galaxy, we gotta go after them! Agreed. We have to stop them right here and right now! Okay, don't tell her I said anything, but we gotta do that in the next episode. I'm afraid we have run out of time for this episode, but next time somebody tells me, we're going to s save the world again! But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. That's like we saw. Let me know in the comments below, but send the like button to another mention. I'm Miss Galaxy Guys Cow. See you guys next time. Peace out, Mr. Team Shadow. Please don't mistake Caddy. Live life your own way. Stay safe to the and times. I'll see you all in our castle. Until next time, adieu, everybody. The hell? I wasn't even close to that Pokemon!